Oh, are we live? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize yeah, intro live. sequence was all of that. Welcome everybody to Live Arcade. This is the live stream arcade machine that you get to play at home. I want to welcome all those of you watching live at adumbthing.com slash live, those of you watching in the future at youtube.com slash adumbthing, and those of you watching here in studio, give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, please help me welcome my guest this week, Andy Wright. Andy Wright is with us. How are you doing today? Hello. You doing well? Yeah, yeah. How's your day been going? I will tell you off the bat, my car broke down. Oh, really? <laughs> How about you? <laughs> uh, I had to take my car, which is kind of rare. Usually I take the subway. So. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. You're a subway guy. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I, I took my car, and it, it broke down. So I'm a little flustered today. Part of the reason why I didn't realize we were on the air. Uh, thank those of you for sticking through with the delays that we had going on. But now we're here to play a very fun game. It's the number one rated party game on BoardGameGeek.com. Today you're playing Code Names. Code Names. Code Names. Uh, if you haven't played it before, it's kind of a mixture of Password and Battleship, uh, guessing uh, words in a grid uh, and making sure that you're not getting your opponent's words. So uh, we're going to play the two-player variant of it. If you've never played the game before, I swear we'll talk you through it. You'll have a good time. Uh, it's actually going to be a well-paying off game, so if you're interested in breaking our high score, this is the game to do it. So give us a call. We're going to open up the phone lines. 909-454-3862 is the number to call. Go ahead and give us a call, and you'll be playing code names with us. Uh, now, Andy, you have uh, not really played code names before. You no. and I did like a test run. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll see how our, how, how our skills are in giving clues to our listeners. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but you're a wordsmith, I would say, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I sort a lot of words by sounds, though, not necessarily by meaning. Oh, okay. So this, is, this, will, be, this will stretch what, that. What do you mean by sounds? What's a good sounding word to you? Uh, well, so I spent a lot of time playing Scrabble in uh -huh. high school. And so I memorized all the two and three letter words in the dictionary. And I, um, I also I memorize like all of the se like uh, like the sequences of letters. Yeah. Um, so that's that's more where my interest in words comes from. Okay. All right. What's the what's the what's the highest point word that you've ever played on Scrabble? Uh, well, it's got to be a bingo. I think I played uh, Saluki. What's a bingo? Is that a thing? Yeah. If you play all the letters, all seven letters, yeah. it's an automatic fifty points on top of whatever. Oh, so the, the things in your, the whole thing in your, your, your little tray, if you p play every letter that you've got, it's an, a bonus. Okay. Mm -hmm. A bingo. All right. A bingo. A bingo. So what would be a bingo that you've played before? Uh, Salukis. That's uh, probably my best. What's Salukis? It's a type of dog. It's a Saluki is a type of dog? Yeah. What kind yeah. of breed are we talking about here? I think it's like a half wolf. I, I know that it's the mascot for Northern Illinois University. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, if, uh, we got anybody calling in? Nobody's called in yet? Give us a call. Come on. I see somebody in the, I see John in the chat. Give us a call. 909-454-3862. Uh, uh, it looks like Randy is all about this shirt. Rosie O'Donnell, my friend, represent. <laughs> Used to love her show. Very similar to Live Arcade. She would play games. It was kind of the precursor to, say, the Jimmy Fallon these days. Uh, so yeah, John, Randy, if you guys are out there, give us a call. Uh, what are the balls she used to throw out? Koosh balls. Koosh balls. She used to have the, and believe you me, I have tried to get those koosh balls to have on this <laughs> show so I could pelt Seth over there. Uh, uh, and in fact, Seth, before we even start the game, we should do a check-in to see what's on the line today. Uh, yes, oh, <laughs> yes, 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 hold on. Give, give him a second well, I'll tell I, you what's on I, the line. These are some pretty big prizes, so it's taking me a minute here. Randy, you don't have to stay on the phone for this whole thing. You just got to play for a little bit with us. Come on, my friend. All right, guys. Uh, today we are playing for Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom on VHS. Yeah. 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 Uh, so and one lucky like contestant will also win Pinky and the Brain. Both. Woo! All right. All in one. Uh, Pinky can look around. Brain, always looking straight ahead. Yeah, uh, I was just we'll informed. I was just informed before we went on the air 
that that pinky in the brain statue that I have had since childhood apparently goes for some big bucks on Oh, on really? Day. So this might be the priciest prize that we've ever given out. So that's, that's, that's what we're dealing with. Uh, looks like we've got a caller on the line, Andy. Oh, Our sweet. very first caller, uh, Jonathan in Los Angeles, who I'm being told is currently eating dinner. Jonathan, are you there? I am, and I'm, I'm eating dinner. That's correct. <laughs> Jonathan, welcome to the show. Hold on one second. I'm going to turn you up so we can hear you here in the studio. Uh, Jonathan, uh, have you played code names before, my friend? I have. You have. You have. You are familiar with the game. Okay, so without further ado, we'll bring up a code names board for you. And what I'm going to do, Jonathan, is I'm going to give you three lives. Okay? Now, you're familiar with code names, I'll so I'll just explain this for the rest of the viewers at home. Collectively, you, myself, and Andy are the blue team. Okay, we will be trying to locate on this board the secret blue words which Andy and I have access to over here. You cannot see them because you're trying to find them. So we'll give you one word clues so that you can try to hopefully identify the blue words on the board. Now there are also red, bo red words on the board. Those are bad words because if you pick them, you're going to lose one of your three lives. Okay, if you pick... Not I. <laughs> if you pick three red uh, words... Game's over. If at any point you pick the assassin, which is the black card and the black word that's up on the, on the board, then you will also, the game will be over for you. However, for every correctly identified blue word, we're going to give you a thousand points. Does that sound good, my friend? It does. I mean, I've played code Have you guys played code names? <laughs> I see. It seems as though you <laughs> might have more familiarity with code names than we do, so I'm so sorry if we let you down, John. <laughs> Uh, my score's on the line here, but I'll, I'll work <laughs> So we're going to see if you can do this. So, uh, uh, yeah, at, uh, hopefully we can run the board and uh, collect all the blue words. Uh, the two-player variant that we're going to play today is after every turn that we take with you, John, we're going to automatically put up one of the red cards so that we're racing against a simulated uh, second. Ah. Does that make sense? Okay. I have a code okay. name question. You have a code name question out the gate? Uh, yeah, so since he's answering just verbally, yeah. could he give a homonym to one of the words? I'm looking at one of the words in the upper right hand corner okay. that we want. Well, don't give him too many. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can't, he can't, can't see the map? According, I think he can. I think he can. He's, no, he's not currently looking at the board? Perfect. Or, okay. yeah. Oh, he's looking at the board. So, Not yeah, board. now we're giving clues oh, un oh. unofficially. Uh, I'm just going to pipe up a little bit more audio in here. Uh, I'm going to rule out any, because the game itself rules out, like, uh, homonyms and, and rhyming oh. and, and all of that sort of deal. So we're going to have to stick straight and narrow here. Got it. Are you ready, Andy? Okay. okay, John, are you ready to play? I'm ready. Perfect. Let's do this, my friend. Do you have a, 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 a clue you'd like to give him, Andy? I think we should start with a nice, like, easy, like, ground single. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Uh, humpback. How many? For one. Humpback, one. All right, let's see here. Keep in mind that uh, humpback. I'm, I'm going to have to... Humpback, one. Humpback, one is your clue. What's your let's guess? Say, uh, let's say whale. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... Start off easy for you. Well, is correct, my ba -ba -ba -ba. friend. That's a thousand points for you, my friends. Okay. Boom. Perfect. Uh, let's see. What, what, what word would we like to get rid of up here? Uh, I kind of want to get rid of. Uh, I'll choose. I'll choose. Okay. We're gonna get rid of star. Can we get rid of star? Put a red card on star for us. Are you just are you just typing in the answer <laughs> repeatedly into chat? That's perfect. Yeah. Go ahead and cover up star for us. Uh, okay, perfect. I'll give the next clue. Jonathan, uh, you're, yes, up, you're up two. Am I right in that? Yeah. yeah. Europe, Europe two. Unless my geography is off. I don't think it's off, right? No, no it's okay. not. Yeah, all right. Uh, we're going to say London and Greece right over here. Perfect. That is two, two words for you. That's an extra 2,000 points. Them's our blue words. Them's our blue words. Okay, Andy, is there any red word you'd like to get rid of off of the board? Uh, yeah, I don't like ghosts. <laughs> We're just going to get rid of ghosts for you, John. <laughs> We're going to get rid of ghosts. Okay. Thanks, man. We're going to cover up ghosts. 
Wait, he can't see the words, can he? Yeah, he can. Oh, he can. Seeing, he just can't see the colors that we're seeing. Oh, He's right. He's seeing the full board. He's seeing the Got board. it. I thought I was yeah. making him guess words that he couldn't see. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, go ahead and give him a clue. Um, ah, oh my gosh. That sounds like me. Um, These are tough. This is a tough deal. Mercenaries 2. Mercenary 2. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Andy, what have you done? <laughs> no! What is your clue? <laughs> no. What is your clue? I know, but you don't get to explain it anymore. You don't get to explain there it There are anymore. two good answers for it. What have you done? John. John. Should I, should I hold off? Is there some debate going on here? Okay, John, the rule is, is that you have to at least give us one answer. So he's given okay. you the number two for the word mercenaries. I'm not going to let on any more than I already have. So you get to decide on your own if you want to make one guess or if you want to make two guesses. You let me know. I will. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with pirate. With How do we do? Pirate, is that your final answer? Doesn't have to be. <laughs> my, it's my first final answer. <laughs> John, is that your final answer? Uh, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes. With pirate? Unfortunately, John, that is the one assassin. <laughs> I am what? so sorry, John. I am so sorry, John. I really I really wish that things had worked out differently for you, but they didn't. I don't know if we say that John got what one, two, three thousand points, or if we it's zero points. Jo John, I'm so sorry you got zero down. points. <laughs> John, I'm, John, I'm are you all right? I'm, I'm doing okay. <laughs> John, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry after got, all of this. I got so focused on, so, on blue words. What did you get? Fo what, did, what did you have for mercenaries? John, stay on the line. We're going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> what were right, you thinking well, for mercenaries? Lawyer and Aztec. <laughs> Oh, oh refer referencing the classic Aztec mercenaries. <laughs> there you go. Like John, you learn about in school. John, after Pirate, what would have been your second guess for mercenaries? Probably lawyer. Okay, so we would have had it half right. Too bad that the other thing on the board was the assassin. <laughs> John, John, th that was too short of a call. What are you having for dinner? I'm, I'm having some ribs for dinner. Some ribs. You make them but ribs yourself, my boy? Yeah, some, uh, some Thai-style ribs going on. Thai-style ribs. Okay, so you're not having all that bad of a night, John. Can we all agree? Um, well, the ribs are okay, and I lost it. Code names pretty quickly. So. <laughs> John, thanks for calling. Call back anytime. And if nobody calls back for a little bit, feel free to call back again and give it another go. Thanks, man. Thanks, John. Good talking to you. <laughs> you too. Oh, Andy, we got to talk, my friend. <laughs> We got a side. That was bad. That was bad. That I was real bad. I got so focused on the blue. Yeah, you got so focused on the blue, you forgot about. Yeah, go ahead and take those down. You forgot about the the one black card that's up there. Yeah. The one of them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's open up the phone lines again. 909-454-3862. Give us a call if you want to play code names with Andy Wright. Maybe I take a couple extra turns this next round, right? Can yeah. We agree? Can yeah. We agree? Yeah. Just shake it off. Work out the swing. Yeah. Shake it off. Shake it off. I mean, uh, listen, you'll have to answer to John later on. <laughs> and he's having ribs, though. Uh, we're just having pizza. Uh, I don't know if there's any. Can somebody throw me a slice of pizza while we're at it? Go ahead. Sorry to put you to work. Uh, just John's ribs. John's ribs just really got me in the mood for some food. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know? He seems like a very content oh, guy. He seems like a very content guy. Uh, so, I, uh, Andy, what would what would be what what are your next steps for the next game of code names? What are we going to do differently? Maybe not be so ambitious. Yeah. Because the you other thing, real safe and cool last time though on that first <laughs> round. Ah, pizza. What? Uh, do you, would you like some pizza? Is what I'm being told. <laughs> Would I like some pizza? Yeah, I, I'm a terrible host. Would you like some pizza? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's bring over some pizza. This is now a pizza stream. Mm. Tell us in the, in the chat, what are you eating for dinner? John is eating ribs. We're eating pizza. What are you having? What are you having? So you don't want to be as ambitious next game. 
I feel like you got to redeem yourself for this next caller. Got to hit the grand slam. Here we go. Here's a nice slice of pizza. Nice slice of pizza for you. Okay, we're going to load up uh, another game. We're going to load up another game. It looks like uh, we've got uh, a caller from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, hey. Tulsa, Oklahoma. We've got Shelby Fish on the line. Shelby, are you there? Shelby? I'm here. Shelby. Shelby, thank you for calling. <laughs> uh, have you ever played Codenames before? No, but before the episode, I watched a tutorial on YouTube. Oh, so you came to play. Well, I, I wouldn't say I'm an aggressive player. I just didn't want to, I wanted to be able to be a participant. Okay, all right. Well, we'll, we'll walk you through anything that you may have questions for. I, I, I'm going to vouch for my buddy Andy here. He will do a good job for you, although he did kind of botch it for our last caller. Yeah, I saw that. That was really, that was pretty bad. Shelby, I will do my best to make sure that that does not happen to you. So we're going to go to the board. Andy, are you clear as to... I got a really good one for two. You got, you got one? Okay, Shelby, are you willing to let Andy be the first person to give you a clue? Yeah, no, okay. that's... Okay, I got a clue it. for you. Tree for two. Okay, so... So Shelby, you get to you get to uh, guess at least one. You can guess up to two, though. Okay, tree for two. I'm gonna go with. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's a twist there with that possible. Hmm. Wait. Hold okay, on. I'm. I'm gonna. Hold on. No, no, no. You can, you can keep going. I'm just, I haven't, I hadn't fully taken in the board myself to make sure that my buddy Andy here hadn't biffed another. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, uh, there's a third little, like, outlier that it could be, but I'm gonna go with, uh, maple and bark. Them's the two. Them's the two. Phew. Uh. Okay. Okay, so the, you get 2,000 points for that. Doing better than John. <laughs> no, John got <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, If you don't make her guess the, the assassin card right out the gate again. Okay, so we're going to put up, we're gonna put up uh, uh, one of the red cards uh, automatically here. So let's go ahead and get rid of, um, I'm going to say note. Let's get rid of note. All right. Um, Okay, so Shelby, I'm going to give okay. you the next uh, uh, clue. Ugh, boy. Um, uh, I'm going to say accessory two. Accessory two. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Ooh. The assassin is one of my favorite things. <laughs> don't give out clues. What if Shelby knows what your favorite things are? You don't know me, Shelby. What? It's... <laughs> it's okay, well, I'm going to put belt. Belt? Is that your final answer? For one... Uh, I don't have to say two, right? Do I get penalized if you, I want to play it No, you, uh, the only requirement that you have is to answer at least one. So if you want to hold off on belt for now... We can continue on with the game. Yeah, I'm just going to do belt because I'm a little too unsure about between a couple of them. Perfect. Well, if we haven't said it already, belt was one of our blue words. Thousand points to you, Shelby. Woo! Woo! Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of another red word. Andy, what would you like to get rid of? Uh, I'm interested in making a shape up here, so uh, let's go with Hollywood. Oh, you are, you are just cheating up the wazoo on this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Shelby, Andy is going to give you another clue. Andy? Uh, first, two. Wait, what was the word? First. First, two. First. There are two words on the board first, related to first. Two. Oh. This is easy, Shelby. Easier than trying to spell your name if I just heard it. <laughs> first? You heard it. As in not second and not third, but first? First. 
first, as in the first thing. Uh, well, I mean, I don't want to put words. Okay, I'm going to go I was with, thinking, like, first gump. Uh, <laughs> wait. Okay. No, 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 do not listen to Andy. Andy is sabotaging this game. Andy is sabotaging this game and I won't allow it. First date. First date, is that your final answer? Date. Perfect, that is a blue card. Yeah. That is a blue card. Okay, now would you like to make a second guess? Uh, um, first, oh, not really. Looks like looks like John in the chat is telling you that the other one is pirate. <laughs> 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 is uh okay? Or, or it looks like looks like it's just you spamming the, the chat. Is what the no, it's just I'm. It's saying. the victory after the, okay. after they get one right. You I clear the chat by yeah. putting date. Okay, Shelby, would you like to would you like to hold off again and maybe give us another round of clues? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's put up another red card somewhere. Uh, how about we get rid of... Wait, 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 should we tie things that could be first among the reds to like clear them out of the way? If there's any reds that are first, we should get rid of them. Uh, I'm thinking of Sputnik. Okay, so let's get rid of satellite. There we go! Let's get rid of satellite. Satellite's a red word. We're just getting rid of it. Shelby okay. will give you another clue. Um, okay. Oh, gosh. I got, I got one. I got one for you, Shelby. Okay, I'm okay. Hope, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Luxury 2. Ooh, okay. okay. Luxury 2. I'm going to go with hmm, Diamond. That is correct, Shelby. And that is correct. Then I would say it's a toss-up between rock and crown, but I may be reading too deeply into rock. I may be breathing too deeply into the microphone. I should I should mention that the the rules in the in the box say that I'm not allowed to give any indication physically as to whether or not you're in the realm of possibility. <laughs> Is that a hint? I see you <laughs> swiveling your hands around. I'm really worried that Andy's just writing in all of the clues into the chat. I'm not on the chat, so I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. You're, you're, you're... But I, your round hand gesture is really throwing me off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I take it all back, I take it all back. What Luxury. would you like to... Luxury. You don't have to, you, uh, don't, you don't have to answer a second one if you don't want to. Okay, I'm just gonna skip that one. See, you're I feel like I'm copping out, but I want to play it safe. Okay, you're playing it safe. You're playing it safe. All right, Andy, is there is there a, a red card that you'd like to get rid of? Uh, wind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad move, but we'll move on. We'll move on. Everybody will find out later why. <laughs> um, okay, Are, is there any clues you want to give to Shelby? And, and, and do Shelby right. She seems like a nice person, and I don't want to, I don't want to screw this up for my friend Shelby. <laughs> we, got some, we got some toughies. We got some toughies. Not a whole lot of things are relating anymore. Jiminy. One. Okay, we'll play it easy. Jiminy. Okay. So I'm going to go with Cricket. Perfect, perfect. All you right. see that, John? That's how it's played. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You're blaming John for his performance? <laughs> After all John went through, you're blaming him? Okay, uh, uh, Shelby, we got, we, we got Cricket there. Uh, so that's another thousand points for you. And she still has the options of guessing on first. Yeah, but I don't think that we made that easier for you. So you do have the option, Shelby. You can, okay. you can okay. always guess. I have that in my mind. I have that in my mind. Just, just to do some housekeeping here, you can always guess up to one more than the number that we gave you in our clue. So because he said, uh, he said Jiminy one, you can guess okay. up to two gotcha. things. So you do have the option, but it sounds okay. like you want to move on. I want to move on, but I might 
take you up on that in a little bit. Okay, I think that's a good. I think that's a good idea. I am going to go out here and take care of our next red card that we're going to put up the, on the board. And I'm going to get rid of rock, which you should have done last <laughs> turn. <laughs> <laughs> so rock is a red word. Can't make it easy for Shelby. Okay. And the, <laughs> we've only got three words left, Shelby. You've only got three more words oh, dang it. Okay. to guess. Okay. There, okay. Are th there are three other red words up on the board, and the assassin is still out there, okay? So, okay, gotcha. I'm going to give you the clue of because we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to get two in a round sometime soon in order for yeah, Shelby to have yeah, I any got it. hope. Um, uh, oh, I can't give the clue that I want because the other word's up there. Um, oh, <laughs> well. I think I think Shelby's got something. I think Shelby's got uh, uh, an idea about something from the past. So I'm just going to say, uh, mammal, right? Oh. Oh, but I said it already. Uh. I said it already. Mammal. Mammal. Oh. One. Okay. Well, I'm going to hope you were questioning what part of the animal kingdom the platypus fits into. So I'm going to go with a horse. Oh no, Shelby! Shelby, horse is one of the Are innocent bystanders. I'm so sorry, Shelby. I'm oh so sorry, Shelby. God. So that means Shelby loses a life, right? Because she shot an innocent bystander. This, Shelby, you shot an innocent is, bystander, this, so you've lost this, one of your three lives. This is not embarrassing for me, it's embarrassing for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right, Shelby. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Okay, so we got to put up another red card, unfortunately, which is going to put us behind. Uh, so, which one would you like to put up, Andy? This is tense. Is that even how Antarctica is spelled? We're covering Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, the actually, point stands. actually, Shelby, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot, okay. and I'm not in the regular game. I wouldn't be able to make these uh, distinctions, but because now there's only one mammal left. Well, yes. There's also a clue from the past that you were thinking between. Yes. So I'm going to give you a clue for the the one and only other word that you haven't heard a clue for, and hopefully you can distinguish the remaining two. Does that make sense? Okay, but can't I only? Okay, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you're right. You're right. So in code names, in I, I should say this in code names like a, a, like a strategy. The other thing that we can do is we can give her a, a clue and say unlimited, which basically tells her that we're giving you a clue, and it's we're not telling you how many uh, items it's regarding. Mm. Oh, so I can guess however many. So you can guess however many, <laughs> but you don't get the advantage of knowing how many words are related to the clue that we gave. But okay. we're in a good spot okay. right now because I think that we can get to it. I think we can get to the last okay. remaining three, Shelby. So Got it. Would you like to give her a clue for I'm trying to give you a hint as to which word I'm trying to get you to Yeah. Could you give her a clue for that one and say clue unlimited? Oh. I don't know if I trust this game in your hands though. <laughs> no, I'm playing real careful on this one. Okay. This isn't John here. Uh, <laughs> locomotive. Unlimited. Okay. Locom I'm going to go with train, platypus, and crown. Boom! Oh! You, you just cleared the board, Shelby. You just Woo! cleared yeah. the board. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Shelby, congratulations. That brings her up to a grand total of 9,000 points. Is that right? Am I wrong? Yeah. On that? Shelby, you got 9,000 points, and I hate to break it to Aaron, who was our previous high score winner, but you just blew their high score out of the water. Woo! Shelby, you are our new high score. It's going to be hard for anybody tonight to beat your score just because this is the highest score that you could possibly get, and we got it with you. So congratulations. What are you having for dinner, Shelby? Thank you. Um, well, I'm. it's 1045 here, so I ate my Trader Joe's SpaghettiOs a few hours ago. Okay, Trader Joe's SpaghettiOs. Okay, all right. That's that's a decent meal. That's a decent meal. Did you enjoy it? 
Yeah, it was great. Perfect. Well, Chelby, it was great to talk to you. Call back anytime on Live Arcade, and you are currently our high scorer, so you're, there's a good chance you might be getting Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom on VHS. Yeah, what about Pinky in the Brain? You're also going to get Pinky in the Brain. I just wasn't mentioning everything. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take care of you. Okay. Take... All right. Thank you, Chelby. Good talking to you. Oh. That was great. You did Chelby good. Yeah. You did Chelby good. You have a you had a thing against John though. It's not my fault that he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so we're gonna open up the phone lines again. I got pizza in my mouth and and code names on the brain. So call us up, 909-454-3862. Um, I'm being told, oh God, don't eat on air. <laughs> which I should have thought of before I ate my pizza. I'll put that down for the rest of the, the episode. Um, give us a call. Uh, we're going to take, uh, it looks like, one last caller. Is that right? One last caller, and then we're going to call this quits. Uh, Shelby uh, made it onto uh, our high scoreboard today just because uh, she didn't get the assassin like old Jonathan did. Is Jonathan, is Jonathan having words for you? Uh, no. No, Jonathan has uh, he was calling you out there back, a back into his little... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he had some words for you there. Don't lie. Don't lie. He had some words. You're just trying to drown him out, I think, on the chat. The other part of codename strategy is to say better words. Uh, it looks like it looks like uh, looks like he was upset with the the clues that we gave him. That's fine. That's fine, John. Listen, you can call back any time and try to beat your score. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Looks like we've got another caller. Uh, is it Casey from Hollywood, California? Casey. Hello. Casey, Casey, you're snacking is what I'm being told. Yes. What are you snacking yes, on? Yes, I am snacking. Uh, I've got some pub <laughs> cheese and uh, some multi-grain crackers. Pub cheese and multi-grain crackers, is that your dinner? Are you, are you a, a snacky dinner? Uh, no, it's a, it's a snack. I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to, to see what I can make quickly for dinner, probably some soup. Okay, probably going probably gonna to get in on some soup action. I, I appreciate that. Well, thank you for yeah. calling. We'll see if before you have your soup, Absolutely. if we can get you some points. At best, you can tie Shelby, but let's see if we can do it, all right? Here's what I want to know. Uh, what? When I tie Shelby, uh, will I get to fight her for the pinky and the brain statue? You know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure the details of that out maybe a bit later offline, but uh, I'd, uh, we'll do a flip of the coin and I'll send one of you Temple of Doom and the other one of you pinky and the brain. How does that sound? Okay, all right. I can tell from the look on your face that you are not plus at my <laughs> <laughs> Listen, right. listen. We'll figure it out. I'll take care of you, I swear. All right? So okay. let's play okay. some code names. Let's uh, go up to the board. We've got a brand new board, Andy. Are you, are you, in, are you in high spirits for this round? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, hey, Looks like hey, you were chatting. I haven't even said hi to you yet. How are you? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Casey's saying hi to you. I, you know, Casey, I was just talking about how good your performance of uh, Proud Mary was that I saw. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ten <laughs> months ago. Listen, not yeah, on my minutes, okay? okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Casey's, Casey's taken up a, a lot of air time for stuff that could really be done <laughs> offline. Uh, uh, Casey, all right, this is the board we're, we're playing with. It looks like Andy has been spamming the chat so much that the chat is now redacting his messages. No, I redacted them myself, but R. Murray is now a moderator. <laughs> okay. Bryce uh, is in timeout. Yeah, all right. Uh, looks, I'm, I'm not cheating. I'm not looking at the chat. I you're promise. not looking at the chat? Way to be honest. Way, way to be an honest man, Casey. All right, so we've got, yeah, we've got this new board. We're watching on the Apple TV. I should watch. We're ready to go. Andy, I just want to... Just want to make sure that you're aware of the the, bla the assassin word that's out there, so that we can avoid that at all costs for our friend Casey. <coughs> yeah. Okay. I just coughed on my. Okay, Casey. We're gonna give you. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna give you. We're gonna give you a clue out here out the gate. I'm going to say. I'm gonna say, education, two. Okay, I'm gonna go teacher. Teacher is correct. And degree. D d hey. Degree is also correct. Hey. You got both blue words. That's 2,000 points for old Casey. Andy, what, oh, red, yeah. word would, what, word, what red word would you like to cover up? Rome. Rome, out the gate. Get rid of Rome. Too many other things related <laughs> to Rome. All right, Andy, is there any clue you'd like to give Casey for our other blue words here? Mm. How much you know about reggae, oh, Casey? Oh, God. Oh, God. 
This is already not allowed. <laughs> oh no, did we lose Casey? Uh, no, I'm here. I, you, you, you were yet to give me a number with the word. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Before <laughs> I give you the clue, I need to ask you a question. He was asking you an illegal question. Well, I'm not allowed oh, to ask that question. Uh, reggae is my least favorite type of music. Reggae is his least favorite type of music. Go ahead and give him your reggae clue. <laughs> <laughs> That's your <style>. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had another really bad clue flash through my mind. Thank you, John. For taking that bullet for him. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, give him, give him your reggae clue. No, no. Okay, give him another clue. Oh God. Stove for two. Stove two, Casey. Did you say stove? Stove. I'm gonna go gas. There you go. That is correct. Watch this, John. <laughs> <laughs> and would you like to make a second guess, Casey? Uh, yes, cook. Cook. Cook is also a blue word. Yeah. Casey, making yeah. it work. Making it work. Good job there, Andy. Let's, let's pick another red word to, uh, to cover up for old Casey here. How about we cover up, uh, uh, let's see here. Let's cover up uh, tag. OK. All right, Casey. Casey, how confident are you feeling? Yeah. I'm feeling pretty confident. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you very much. No problem. Any time for you. Um, I am going to say... Uh, ooh, secure two. <laughs> it was a risky, I'm gonna go risky with, clue. I'm going to go with tie. Tie is correct. We're on the same wavelength, Casey and I. Now, would you like to go for the second one? Um, I need to think for, for a little bit. I really think that Andy is going to get us blocked from our own YouTube channel by spamming the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, any thoughts? Um, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna You're gonna pass. pass. Okay, that might be that might be smart. That might be smart. Okay. Real brave, Casey. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> I don't know whether our audience is going to love you or if or if you're gonna become the new heel of Live King. <laughs> Hey, the uh, big wheel's going to keep on turning. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, don't you dare say any, say any more of that song for fear that we might get carp copyright noticed. Uh, okay. okay, I'll do it off key like I did at the, uh, at the bar. <laughs> uh, Andy, would you like to cover up one of the red words? Uh, hmm. uh, Europe. Okay. All right, we're covering up Europe. Uh, and now go ahead and give him a clue. There's four blue uh, words remaining. There are five red words remaining, and the assassin is still out there, at large. What clue would you like to give him? Uh, you may remember that I, uh, oh, God. I blacked out Europe, and I would like to say continent one. Way too much. Did you say <laughs> preemptive <laughs> confidence? He, continent. He said continent. Continent. Ah, yes. Uh, Africa. That is correct, Casey. That is correct. Toto would be proud. All right. <laughs> you could have said Toto. Was there any? Was there any fear of Toto out there? I don't know. You might want to whip Toto. You might want to check Toto for fleas. You might need to. You need to stop talking. Toto <laughs> said. <laughs> you need to stop talking. The important thing is Toto is life. <laughs> okay, Casey, before this gets too out of hand, that was one. Would you like to make a second choice at all? You, you could make a second choice. Uh, I will not. You will not. I will okay. not make a second choice. All right, let's cover up another red card. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover up, uh, let's cover up, oh, it doesn't really matter, uh, life? Let's cover up life. I try to cover mine up all the time. My parents still find out. 
<laughs> we are going to talk. <laughs> okay. Uh, Andy, I'm going to need help here on a clue. And I kind of I kind of <laughs> I kind of want to open this up uh, to people outside of us. Seth, do you happen to have any clues at all that you would think of? Ooh, Seth and I have a Let's contention see. history with uh, this. Casey, Casey, Casey from Hollywood. Wait, Casey, Casey, are you saying that this is a conflict of interest? No, I'm I'm saying that Seth and I don't work well together in this game. And, oh, you uh, don't work well. You don't work well together. Well, then let me give you a clue and, that and could be disastrous. To, to prove it. There you go, Seth. Uh, okay. Your clue is hot one. Hot one. Good luck. Hot, hot one. <laughs> Casey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need an answer. Um, Andy is too excited about this. <laughs> I'm gonna go with battery. Battery? Oh, come on! Casey, I'm so sorry. That was an innocent bystander. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay. Uh, we're, still, I, we're still playing. I will let you know that the battery was not the issue with my car this morning. Ah. That's just me. I'm still not over it. Uh, okay, let's cover up a, a red a red card here. Oh, we're getting down to the wire. Let's cover up. What's what's an what's an issue for us? Let's cover up a uh, hood. Okay. Casey, ah. we're down to the wire. Yes. There are three blue cards left. There are three red cards left. Yes. A Andy, we, we just lost our whole board. <laughs> Here we go. Here we are. All right. Andy, do you, let's see. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say edge. Right? Edge. Edge one. Okay. I'm going to guess cliff. Correct. That is a blue card. And I'm going to guess button. Button is also oh, a blue word. We'll wow. cover that up. Oh. One last blue word to go. Three red cards. We're going to cover up one of them. We're in a good spot. Let's go ahead and just cover up agent. Let's get rid of agent. And now Andy. To get Casey to guess that last word, what clue are you going to give him? Uh, Andy? Andy? Much more dangerous hints have been given. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the prefacing. The prefacing. <laughs> you got this, Andy. I believe in you. Andy. My man Casey is just is just eating his pub cheese, and the only thing that will make his night tonight is if you get him to say this one last word so he can tie Shelby and fight over old garbage of mine from when I was a child. <laughs> ballet. I I would I oh ballet. Ballet. I'm gonna go with Grace. Grace is the last word, <laughs> Casey. Grace is the last word. You won, Casey. Yeah. 9,000 points. Thank you. Thank you. 9,000 points to Casey and to Shelby. Looks like we got a tie situation. I don't know how I'm going to resolve that. Uh, Seth. Casey, stay on the line. S Casey, stay on the line. Yeah. Can you do that for me? Casey, I have a question for you. Yes. We have this pinky in the brain prize right here. What if I were to tell yeah. you that I can cut it in half <laughs> and ship you only one half of it? Just pinky or just the brain, I, but they can never be together again. What would you say to that? Oh, gosh. I mean, I feel like uh, this is a moral question, and I would say I would give up the pinky and the brain figure because, you know, they cannot be separated. It is not right to separate them. He wins the pinky and the brain! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! This is yours! And Shelby, you won Indiana Jones on VHS! Yeah! <laughs> I didn't want to reveal this, but I will hear from Shelby about this. <laughs> All right.
Shelby, Jonathan, Casey, thank you so much for calling. Uh, Casey, call back anytime. Uh, it was a pleasure playing with you. Uh, for everybody else, thank you for, for tuning in and uh, for playing with us. We broadcast this uh, every other Wednesday-ish, so if you ever want to know when we're doing one of these, uh, go ahead and check out our Facebook page, which is just facebook.com slash a dumb thing. We'll usually make a Facebook event whenever we're planning on going live, uh, and you can stay updated there. Otherwise, uh, you can check out our YouTube channel, look at all the other old episodes of Live Arcade. Uh, congratulations, Chelby. Congratulations, Casey. No congratulations, John. The only person that didn't get any points just happened to be John. Donuts! I want to thank uh, everybody that watched in person with us today. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> I want to thank the Dumb Thing Boys. I want to thank Andy for joining us and playing today. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. I was, okay. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you all the next time. But for now, it's game over, guys. Game over. Bye. Woo!